competitive guys and you know one being our biggest competitor is our head coach and you know Jimmy and, and, and UD and, you know tough competitive guys and you know it's it's good to sometimes get some you know anger and frustration out and just talk about it you know we're, we're going to have situations that you know make people uncomfortable but at the end of the day you know as long as we're comfortable and we figure it out it's all that really matters and you know as long as we're still together and we are you mentioned there was been you know seasons long ups and downs you guys have a lot of positive moments but what does what a moment like this i guess represent in what moment the loss of the game no the the, the huddle and, and then the loss as well. it happens i mean honestly it's not a moment of anything and for us it's just listen got guys that really want to win basketball games and you know guys have that work extremely hard and you know the passion comes out you know the the, the fiery and the emotions comes out sometimes but like i said this is you know it's to us, it's nothing. You know, we conversated about it and have a conversation and going forward, and we continue to build. What was it that prompted that level of frustration? Was it just the fact that they were going on a run? Was it an individual play? To be honest with you, losing basketball games, you know, that stuff happens. You know, they're making shots, and you know, frustration builds up sometimes. And, you know, we had two games in a row where, you know, they're, they're better players, they're stars, you know, not playing that we, you know, lost. And frustration builds sometimes. But uh, I think it's a situation where, you know, it's good to get it out of the way and then move forward. You know, we're not going to dwell on it. We're going to continue to we're gonna look and see what happened. And, and as a team that bell in the court and go from there. Kyle, this thing has already blown up all over. So <laughs> as I'm sure you're not surprised in this day and age and, and all that, and stuff has always happened. I mean, yeah. you go through yeah. a season, something, I mean, yeah. maybe not as public, maybe not involving the head coach, but something always happens. How does a group keep this from affecting you tomorrow or Friday or Saturday? We got great leadership. It won't affect us at all. We have great leadership, uh, you know, starting top to bottom. We have great leadership and that type of stuff, you know, it happens. And, you know, in this day and age, social media and all that stuff, it gets around. But we're a good team. We have great leadership. We have a great um, culture. And, you know, have, like we, we're going to figure it out, talk about it, move forward. You know, and we still have bigger goals and, you know, we still have bigger aspirations. Was there a common thread in the two games, the way it turned out, both of them? Is there a, a specific or specific multiple things that led to both of these losses? Uh, teams are playing extremely well. <laughs> uh, they shot 51% from the field, 41 from three, 85 from the line. I mean, they just, they out-rebounded us. Um, you know, they did things better than us tonight. And, you know, they just... One of the games where two of the games back to back with the other teams, you know, there are guys, okay, our stars aren't playing. We still gonna go out there and show you guys why we're professionals. And, you know, we you know, out there, we competed, but we didn't finish the job. Kyle, you guys only have nine games left, and, you know, you guys haven't had your whole group at once yeah. really for more than like, you know, a week, I think, yeah. all season or something crazy like that. How much does that part concern you? That. I mean, there's, there might be chemistry, but there's, like, levels to it, too, and you probably aren't where you need to be or where, where you want to be yeah. for game one. Yeah, I was asked this question the other day. I don't think we are where we need to be at all. Um, you know, I think we nine games and rotation still kind of funky right now, and we're trying to figure it out. Vic just getting himself back. Markeith just getting himself back. Um, you know, we're still just trying to figure out what we're doing in the sense of rotation-wise, and that's – going to take time and not too much time we don't have too much time but you know the playoff rotations will get a little bit shorter and tighter and you know those things uh will work themselves out you know i think the i think our coach you know does a good job of figuring things out and he always has and he will all right kyle thank you thank you guys